that was my son describing his bedroom in case you were wondering. <laughs> Hi, I just wanted to go over quickly what it is that I've been doing over the last few days uh, since I've been at home. Uh, right now it's March 27th, 2020. We are in the midst of the COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak. And there are so many hospitals that are either running short or running out of uh, personal protective equipment for the staff. Uh, they are running out of face shields. They are running out of masks. Uh, most of them don't even have enough respirators and they are going through dire methods to try to treat these people. And so what I've done, and none of these are my designs at all. Uh, these are ones I found online and I've tr tried out a few of them to try to find which ones work the best. So that way I can help. Um, one of the big things seems to be face shields. Uh, so I've been 3D printing these frameworks for these face shields. Uh, these are designed by Prusa Research. They make a pretty popular 3D printer. And they fit quite well, they work quite well. All I have at home right now that I've been testing them out with, these are the inserts you'd put in a three ring binder and you'd slide the paper into here and you'd put it in the binder. It's all I have at home right now to work with. Uh, to test it out but they go on and in a pinch this would definitely work much better than having nothing at all you can still see through it it's a little cloudy but it's not really that bad um, ideally um, they're normally if you can get either like half millimeter polypropylene or pet G sheets would be the best you could use a three hole punch to punch out the spots where they clip on here. That would work quite well. Um, another thing that I've seen other people mention uh, is that using laminating sheets or pouches, uh, that's something that a lot of hospitals will probably have on hand already and they could use as the visor portion for the face shield. Um, and if they don't have them already and if somebody, whether it's myself around here because I am printing these for one of the hospitals in Detroit. Um, whether it's myself, if anybody else has printed these, uh, the uh, laminating pouches are at least something that any business should probably be reasonably easy uh, to get right now from a business supply shop. I don't think they'd be sold out like the masks and the face shields are. Um, I've made them just in a couple of different colors. Another thing that I was working on was actual masks, uh, not like a, a true respirator. Uh, the first one I tried, uh, this was the design, I believe they were a peri uh, periodontist or an orthodontist uh, that I had seen use this design. Um, this is what it looks like when it's just the 3D printed portion. And what you do is you take a HEPA filter from a shop vac and the shop vac filters are definitely something you can just grab off the shelves right now. You use just an elastic band to put this around uh, this big ledge here. It, it holds on quite well. Um, this is just elastic bands that I got off of Amazon. Now Amazon is saying that deliveries for this stuff, at least to where I am in Canada, aren't coming till the end of April. So this is kind of the rest of it that I'll be able to get at least from Amazon. But they fit quite good. If I put this on, It fits over your face quite good. The seal against the face, it's not gonna be a perfect seal, but there's different ways around that. But in theory, and let me take this off, in theory, a HEPA filter should actually work even better than an N95 mask. The downside is they're kind of hard to breathe through. You'd be pretty tired after breathing through one of these after about an hour, uh, which is why I found another design. <clears throat> This again was designed, I, I know part, and uh, at least there was a dentist involved in this. And what this design uses is it uses a typical uh, surgical mask. And what you do is you cut it up into smaller pieces. So this, you can cut normally about four pieces at least out of a surgical mask. Some of the surgical masks are a little bit bigger and you might be able to get six pieces out of them. But what this has is it has this little cartridge here. So you put the mask in there like that. Then you put it in the portion that would fit over your mouth like this. And then you have yourself a mask. This is much easier to breathe through. Um, again, you have the issue where around the edges here, you can figure out some kind of uh, solution to make a better seal against the face. But now this mask lets one surgical mask 
either be used four times or six times by the same person, or one surgical mask can be used by four different people. And it really stretches a very stressed supply of masks that a hospital might have. Um, these I haven't started making for any hospitals yet. Nobody's asked specifically for these. Uh, but I thought that this was a good design. Um, I'll post the links to where you can get these files uh, in the description below. So that way, if anybody does have a printer, and if you know anybody at a local hospital, or even if you contact the hospital themselves and say, is there any way I can help? Do you guys need me to print uh, face shields? Or do you need me to print a mask like this? Um, the answer that I got from one of the hospitals in Detroit was, hell yes. Uh, they are running very short of the face shields. So they were very appreciative to have uh, face shields coming their way. So please, anybody who has a 3D printer, check to see if you can help out in any way. Because it could mean the difference between the people working at the hospital being protected from the virus or not being protected. So thanks so much for watching. I hope everybody out there stays safe, stays healthy. Thanks very much.